time management does not exist. We cannot stop or manipulate time based on our preferences and wishes. Time simply goes on. Time management entails managing your time and the way you approach everything you do. Some tips to managing your time better is to set goals. Setting goals maximizes productivity, it allows you to not stray, and it also allows you to stay focused. Set clear deadlines. Setting clear deadlines help you stay on track. Get a calendar or organizer. Mark deadlines and stay on track and focus. Do not procrastinate. The time management matrix below shows you that setting out what is important and what is not important will allow you to manage your time better. Say no to multitasking. Doing too many things at one given time can be frustrating. Try not to be overwhelmed. Stay focused on one task and one task only. Apart from frustration, it will produce low productivity, low concentration, and ultimately, it's a waste of time. Allow small tweaks in your schedule. For example, cutting down on social media time, playing games on your phone, and going to bed earlier or waking up earlier all saves time. Remember, that feel when you go to bed before midnight for the first time in many months. Take little breaks and unwind. Give yourself 10 to 15 minutes. Do not study or do your assignments for long, continuous, and countless hours. Remember, warning, you need a break. Keep being inspired and motivated. Why? Ask yourselves, why did I select science as my major? Do not give up. Do not stress, but stay motivated. Time can be your best friend or your worst enemy, depending on whether you use it or whether you waste it. Hi, my name is Jesse. So when I started the science program, it was relatively hard for me and I did fail a bunch of assessments. I wasn't doing as great. Uh, now, this is not to tell you that you should fail, but it's perfectly fine if you do start off bad as long as you continue to improve. Now, uh, before class, your teachers usually give you a um, schedule or what you're going to cover. So. Before class, they're going to tell you what chapter or what they plan to move on to. You can use this to your advantage and look up little videos or read up on a chapter. Even if you just read the key words, key boxes, as long as you get a basic idea of what's going on. It doesn't matter if you don't understand most of it or you don't understand anything. You just get a... you know what's going to be taught or you know certain words that's going to be taught so during class you're going to click and be like oh that that was what it was talking about and during class uh, it's very important for you to pay attention and take notes so when you take notes try to find a creative way that suits you a lot of people are visual learners so try doing color coding or doing little pictures little sketches even using those cute little banners that I see people do. So those definitely help it encourage you to take more notes and it also encourages you to go back and review on them. Now after class, feel free to ask your teacher questions, feel free to talk to your teacher about the class. The teachers are very approachable, just try to do so respectfully so it's not really informal because they still are your teachers. Uh, when asking questions, try not to say that you don't understand anything at all. Try to reflect on the lesson that was being taught and find a specific area or the specific problem where you got lost or that you don't understand. This way, it's easier for the teacher to explain to you and it's easier for you as a student because you directly ask where you need help and you get your answer and your solution. So. Science is not as hard as it may seem, and it definitely will get better along the way. Best of luck. Hi, my name is Jashita Westby, and I was the valedictorian of SCA. I would like to welcome all of you to the world of science. This major requires critical thinking and not just text-dependent questions. 
So basically, you will always be thinking and using what you know to solve either physics, chemistry, or biology questions. First things first, there will be a lot of fun labs and some difficult serious ones that would have your brain cells tinkling. But regardless, you've definitely learned something. So let's talk about each subject. Firstly, physics. All in all, it's just math with a little bit of sparkles. When I first went in and picked science as a major, I thought that it would be the hardest subject, but it's honestly the opposite. It gives an explanation to everyday life situations, and as long as you pay attention in class, it will be a breeze. Secondly, biology is packed with plenty of information about the life of living organisms. Biology requires a little more mem a little more memorizing but you must be able to understand the topic and not just rely on memorizing because when you are hit with a question that needs a little bit more you would you will be in trouble lastly chemistry most would say this is the hardest subject but honestly chemistry is a piece of cake once you understand and apply what is taught to you in a class so some tips that could help you through this journey are paying attention in class and being in tune. Participate. Answer the questions that are given. If you don't understand something, I stress this. Ask questions. Even if you think that it's a, it may be dumb or silly, still ask because the teacher is there to clarify any unsure thoughts. Have good time management because you must be able to have enough time to do your homework and still have time to study. I would say to study for at least an hour or more and actually get to understand the work, not just relying on memorization because that won't get you to absorb the topic. Lastly, do not procrastinate because all your work will pile up on you and that will be very stressful because it has happened before and it won't be good for your mental state. Well, those are some key tips that will help you. I wish you all the best. Design and embrace the future through science.